Something's wrong. Introduction. In a world where tranquil coastal towns nestled along pristine shores still held the promise of an idyllic existence, a foreboding darkness was about to unfurl. Among the inhabitants of one such picturesque enclave, where azure waters danced gently under the sun's warm embrace, Dr. Emily Collins, a dedicated marine biologist, had always found solace. The sea, with its endless mysteries, had been her sanctuary, a canvas of life and beauty. Little did she know that beneath the serene facade of this ocean, something sinister and unfathomable was lurking, threatening to plunge humanity into a nightmare from which it might never awaken. As a brilliant scientist and ardent protector of marine life, Dr. Collins was attuned to the ocean's subtle whispers, its rhythmic tales of life and death. She could sense when something was amiss, and it was during one of her routine research dives that she first glimpsed the harbingers of an impending catastrophe. The marine life she had so lovingly studied for years had begun to exhibit strange behaviors, patterns of migration and reproduction that defied all known science. Her curiosity and concern led her down a path that would unravel a mystery far more profound and terrifying than anything she had ever encountered in her illustrious career. In the heart of her beloved ocean, the first ripples of something profoundly wrong had begun to surface, and it was a revelation that would change the course of her life and humanity's fate forever. Chapter 2, The First Signs Dr. Collins' research station had always been a haven of knowledge and discovery. Perched on the coast, it allowed her an intimate view of the ocean's mysteries. It was during these moments of quiet observation that she noticed the first signs of the impending catastrophe. Marine life, which had once adhered to predictable patterns, now exhibited perplexing behaviors. Fish migrated erratically, and species once prolific seemed to vanish from their usual habitats. These ominous signs shook the scientific community to its core, leading Dr. Collins to seek help from her colleagues and sparking discussions that hinted at a growing crisis. Yet, for all the data they collected and the theories they proposed, no one could provide a satisfactory explanation for the ocean's bizarre behavior. The initial unease among scientists began to spread like wildfire, whispering of uncertainties that cast a shadow over their understanding of the natural world. Chapter 3, Escalation of the Problem As Dr. Collins delved deeper into her research, the coastal town began to spiral into chaos. Local fishermen, once thriving, reported vanishing catches. Desperation and fear pervaded the community as the lifeblood of their town, the ocean, seemed to betray them. An ecological catastrophe was unfolding before their eyes, coral reefs bleached, once teeming kelp forests turned into barren wastelands, and the balance of nature was thrown into disarray. The eerie silence that overtook the ocean only deepened the sense of foreboding. Days turned into weeks without any marine life sightings. The waves that once sang harmonious melodies now whispered haunting dirges. It was as though the sea itself was holding its breath, waiting for the next dreadful revelation. The town's idyllic existence had shattered, replaced by a palpable dread that clung to the very air they breathed. Chapter 4, Descent into Chaos Amidst the growing turmoil, the coastal town, once a haven of serenity, descended into chaos. Panic rippled through the tight-knit community like a contagious disease. With the livelihood of fishermen and the tourism industry in ruins, economic and social collapse loomed over the once thriving town. Dr. Collins, however, remained steadfast in her determination to uncover the truth behind the ocean's mysterious affliction. As her fellow scientists retreated from the mounting uncertainty, she embarked on a treacherous journey of her own, venturing deeper into the abyss, risking not only her career but also her safety to understand the cataclysmic changes unfolding in the sea. The isolation of her quest, combined with the unrelenting pressure to find answers, weighed heavily on her. It became clear that to confront the impending doom, sacrifices would need to be made, and Dr. Collins was prepared to make them. Chapter 5, Unveiling the Horrors Dr. Collins and her team's deep-sea expedition was a descent into a nightmare. The abyss held unearthly discoveries that defied all scientific explanation. They encountered grotesque and monstrous creatures, mutated beyond recognition by the malevolent force that had gripped the ocean's depths. As the team ventured further into this watery abyss, they uncovered the horrifying truth, an ancient malevolence, hidden for eons, had awoken, and it harbored a malevolent intent towards humanity. The revelation sent shivers down their spines. It became evident that this malevolence was intricately connected to humanity's unchecked actions, a horrifying embodiment of the consequences of their exploitation and disregard for the natural world. As the team struggled to comprehend the scale of the threat, a chilling realization dawned upon them, they were no longer just dealing with a scientific anomaly but confronting a primordial force of destruction. Chapter 6, Race Against Time 
With the malevolent force now unleashed, the world stood on the precipice of an unthinkable catastrophe. Dr. Collins and her allies recognized that time was running out. The sense of impending doom grew more palpable with each passing day. As the crisis escalated, Dr. Collins found herself facing personal sacrifices. Her dedication to uncovering the truth came at great personal cost, straining her relationships and pushing her to the brink of exhaustion. The global community, too, grappled with the grim reality that their way of life was under dire threat. In a desperate race against time, they marshaled their resources and intellects to find a solution, but the malevolence that had awakened from the depths of the ocean seemed unstoppable, and humanity's future grew increasingly uncertain. Chapter 7, The Final Stand In the face of impending doom, Dr. Collins and a coalition of scientists devised a daring plan to confront the ancient malevolence head-on. It was a perilous mission, fraught with uncertainty and danger. Gathering the best minds from around the world, they prepared for a final, harrowing confrontation with a force that defied logic and comprehension. Their expedition took them to the darkest abysses of the ocean, where the malevolence awaited. The chilling encounter that followed tested their resolve as they faced nightmarish horrors lurking in the depths. It was a battle for the survival of humanity, a struggle against a power that seemed intent on erasing their existence from the face of the earth. Chapter 8, Conclusion As the expedition concluded, and the malevolence retreated to the abyss, the ocean's unsettling calm hung heavily in the air. The world, though temporarily spared, bore the scars of the cataclysmic battle that had unfolded beneath the waves. The collective relief was tempered by a lingering uncertainty, an unsettling feeling that something remained deeply wrong with the world's oceans, waiting to resurface and wreak havoc once more. Dr. Collins, reflecting on her journey, felt the weight of the sacrifices she had made and the price humanity had paid for its recklessness. Despite the temporary reprieve, a sense of impending doom continued to haunt her, a nagging suspicion that the malevolence was merely biding its time, waiting for the right moment to strike again. Chapter 9, Epilogue In the aftermath of the confrontation, Dr. Collins felt compelled to issue a warning to humanity. Her message, carried by the winds and tides, reached the ears of a world still reeling from the recent calamity. She implored mankind to recognize the consequences of their actions and to tread more lightly upon the planet they called home. Yet, as the world grappled with an uncertain future, the haunting sense of impending doom lingered. The malevolence, though temporarily defeated, remained an enigmatic and ancient threat, lurking in the depths of the ocean, a constant reminder that something was still terribly wrong with the world. Humanity had been given a second chance, but the question remained whether they would heed the warning and change their ways before the malevolence returned to claim what was rightfully its own. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.